Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips and this is Tiki. And Tiki is a Yorkshire Terrier who is about four months old. And this is his first grooming. So I just wanted to give a, a video of that for you. So hopefully everything goes well. You never know with a puppy how they're going to behave on their first time. Um, sometimes they're a little bit of a handful. Because everything's all new for him. So, um, he is a little bit matted um, on the side here. So I'm actually going to try cutting him first um, before the bath, just because he does have some matting in him. Um, usually I do bath them before, but uh, because he is matted as he is, we're going to see, I'm going to try trimming around the face first and see how he does. So I do hold them right now. I'm just holding them at the back of the skull so they can uh, still move around and breathe. But it's just basically um, teaching them that I need them to stay still. So um, usually it takes a few minutes off the bat. So I'm also holding them with the other hand on my right hand here, just at the bottom back of the skull. And that just kind of holds them from pulling back. It's okay. It's okay. Tiki, it's okay. It'll be okay. And we'll do a little bit in between. Hey, there you are. Once you can see what I'm doing, you should relax a little bit. It's okay. Hey, you're okay. It's okay. So by holding him like this, I'm not restricting his breathing at all. I'm just giving him a little bit of free, free reign of motion but also letting them know that I am in control. You gotta stay. Okay. And the key is not to let go So that they know that by moving like this, it doesn't help them and that um, it won't do anything for them. Okay. Hey, hey. Hey. No. Stay. It's okay. Good boy. Hey, good boy. All right, darling. Okay. Got a lot of tearing in there. Good boy. I know. We got most of it around the eyes all gone. And I'm just going to lay it around the face. Nice neat too. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. I know it's scary. Okay, so there's a kind of around the face area, so you can see now. And I have to see how um, how long I'm going to be able to keep the body, so I don't want to. I kind of want to trim the face to match it. And because, of course, he's so squirmy. So the first.
first groom is usually a little squirmy like this, but the second one is better. Just got to get through the first one. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. No. Hey, no. Relax. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> He's got to jump up there, eh? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I am going to try a number five on this first one, and hopefully that will go through. So I'm going to hold again for the, the jawline at the front now. <laughs> and it, to get started, usually he's a little bit nervous for the dog, but once they get started, he should calm down. Got to kind of wait. Hey. Okay. And once you get going, then you're usually okay. colors on us. See where the mats are. <laughs> Come on, buddy. This back leg has quite a bit of mats in there as well. Okay, now let's turn this so hopefully you'll get a better angle. As you can see, they do he will calm down as he has. No, you don't. No, you can see yourself now. What are you doing? Oh, you aren't interested in that, aren't you? Okay. Keep 
Nah, apa ni? Cie. So now I'm going to go under the neck. This one's a little bit tricky as well. So you're going to hold from underneath the chin here to hold it up. And then the top of the back of the head there where the skull is. And that's how I hold him. So again, you don't put any pressure on the throat. Just, just to hold it up. Because every new area is a little bit scary again, so once you do it, um, it will get better. But hey, no. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Try to do this little area here. Okay. Hey, no, no. Okay, I know you will tire out. Switch the blades again. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> no. Just like all the puppies, they don't like to get brushed either. Eventually you can hit them. You really can turn here, but... You <laughs> got the twist. Alright, so I'm just going to have to hold him here for a little bit so he can relax. Come on, it's okay. You've got a good grip there, hey? You know what you're doing. He's kind of just cradling in my arm. It's kind of cute. Go away. I'm not enjoying standing, but apparently laying is okay. For now, it'll change. Get you to stand up. Can't do it that way.
and I don't like your noise. process continues, he gets a little more and more used to me. And it always is different with puppies. There are some puppies that will fight you the whole time with little retrieve. Some will yelp or try to nip at you. So it's always a little different, but you just got to continue doing what you're doing with the holes. Um, of course, without hurting them, and they will calm down, as you can see. But he'll go back and forth, because when I start something new, he may not like it again, so he may jump again, so then I just have to reset him by holding him and waiting him out a little bit. But he calmed down pretty nicely so far, with a little bit of resistance. But that is expected with any puppy. There are some rare puppies that come in and they just stay at the whole time like, like they've been groomed a hundred times before. It's amazing, but I usually expect some resistance from puppies at the beginning. Yeah, so these are all kind of little mad. So he's going to be a little bit short, but just to get them out. Good boy. Okay, so I'm just going to go back and do that other leg on the inside, in the back. I'm actually going to use a number seven for that. Yeah, and it does have a little bit more matting in there, and of course because he's peeing. trying to get the best camera angles for you, but I'm sorry if I let you look at my shoulder. I do my best to get you what I can, but sometimes I'm a little distracted. Hey? Okay, okay, so I'm going to do his bum area. So this is obviously just a rough cut. I'm going to be coming back again and doing it all over again after the bath. I'm going to be using a number 10 on the bum area just because he's probably going to be a little bit more fidgety and because it is a sensitive area. I want to make sure I don't catch anything with the longer blade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's so squirmy. He's so squirmy. Look. Hey, hey, hey. Tika, Tika, Tika. Tiki. Tiki? Tiki. 
Majority of it, so we'll go back and check that out again. Yeah, I know we got you. Okay. Now I'm gonna go and do the feet and nails. I'm gonna usually use scissors for this. I do prefer scissors for around the feet. Lots of people do use clippers. I find that the dogs are a little bit more calmer with the scissors. But it does take uh, a little more time. And same with the feet, it's just you gotta keep holding on. My smaller clippers for him. trim a little bit where the clippers can't get because he is a little bit squirmy. There we go. Hey, little squirmy boy. Here's a puppy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 
first one, you didn't even notice. Tiki, Tiki, hey, Tiki, 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 Tiki. Good boy. Oh, there you go. One more, Oli. Good boy. Tiki. Hey, hey, Tiki, Tiki. There you go. Good boy. All right. So that's half the legs done. So I'm going to get in there. Again, because he's a little squirmy this first time. We may not be able to get every area perfect. So you want to do it with the best you can. And don't stress them out too much. Hey, no. And I'll let him tire himself a little, little bit. <laughs> Come on. No, you did good for the other one. And that's how they do, though. They'll, they'll kind of go back and forth, um, just testing to see if they can get away. <laughs> Because if you do let go, then it just re reinforces that behavior for him to keep doing. Hey, no, no, you have to stay. But they will keep testing because they are puppies and just little babies. Hey, relax. I am just going to let him figure it out here. Hey, no, 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 that's enough. No. Day. And you don't want to, like every time he listens, for instance, like he is right now, you don't want to reward that with a, a treat because uh, then he knows he'll misbehave for a bit and then behave and you'll give him a treat right away. So. It'll just reinforce the actual negative behavior. If you don't want to give a treat, you give it right at the very end of the grooming, but not during. I don't give anything to my guys, just in case they have any allergies and stuff that obviously I would not be aware of, so I don't want to give them anything. But um, if you're trying this at home, and also, I've been doing this for 16 years, so it's a little bit different. You know, but if you are enjoying this video, I'd really appreciate it if you would uh, check out and look at, uh, subscribe to my channel where I have lots of other dogs that I groom. Many other videos posted on there. And I do have more puppies and... Uh, Obviously, any age in between and some senior guys as well. So the senior guys, I find, act <laughs> a little similar to the puppies. Where they like to move around and stuff. Hey, no. Hey, Tiki. Tiki. Tiki, Tiki. Tiki. I got you. One more. Hey, one more, baby. Hey, <laughs> you're so stinky. Hey, 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 Tiki, Tiki, Tiki. Hey, yeah, don't cut you. Okay, oh, yeah, just try to distract him. All right, now last leg, so you can see there's still some fur in there. Hey. Okay. 
Okay. There's some that I couldn't get with the uh, clippers. Let's use a shaker and a mover. And a little bit of matting in there as well. But he will have a good sleep tonight. <laughs> you ticklish. Hey, no, you stay. <laughs> Get your knees out of there. <laughs> You're so funny. He's got good, fast reflexes, so it just kind of pulls right out of my hand. Because, of course, when I'm holding, I don't want to hold too tight, but. <laughs> He's figuring that out. Hey, no. You're trying to figure out. You're just thinking, aren't you? Huh? Just what can I do to get out of there? What can I do? Huh? What can I do? Kiki. Join me. So just always just go back to what you were doing. Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me. Distracting. Yeah, look at me. Good boy. Join. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, good boy. <laughs> Got you. Hey, look at me. Three more. Three more. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Kitty! Up here. You're so quick. You're so quick. <laughs> How can you get out of there so quick? Hey, no! I got another one. That's the key is to try to hold on if you can. I know they jerk your legs really fast to get out of that. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, oh boy. Hey, oh, 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 one more. One more, one more. Hey, 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 hey. What you doing? Oh, there. Last one was the grand finale. Okay, good boy. Okay. So I just want to check to make sure. Hey, come here. No, you're okay. Okay. You're okay. All right, so we're just going to comb up the top of the head here. There's a little bit. He's going to change colors, it looks like, like I said. He might have some of that black left. And he's going to start getting tired, as you can see. Make sure I can come back to the face. And do it a little bit better. With the puppies, you kind of go round and round a little bit. He's got lots of hair in his ears. That will pluck out in a little bit. Okay, good boy. Here, I'm going to trim his ears as well.
And it doesn't matter what stage you were doing the face. So even if I just started the face right now, um, he would be just as uh, resistant as he was in the beginning because it's a new stage of the process. There's just a little bit of matting in there. I'm trying to get that out while still keeping a little bit of a rounded face, but... It is going to be shorter just because of the tearing. Some matting in there. Where is it? It's okay. I know. There, we'll just cut those out. Maybe some food bits. Okay, so now I'm going to be plucking his ears, which I'm pretty sure he's not going to like. So we're going to do another stage of him resisting. So hopefully he won't resist too much. Usually on the first ear, um, he'll resist a little bit more because um, he's not sure what I'm doing. And it does feel funny and weird, I'm sure, and irritating. But hopefully he will calm down. Once I get a bit of it out, usually they kind of calm down. But at the beginning, they really kind of don't like it, obviously. So we'll see how he does. Some of them actually don't mind it. Because it feels... Once I get it out, it does feel a lot better. You just got to make sure when there's lots of hair like this, you do a little bit at a time. Because you can grip on to quite a bit at once. You want to make sure you're just grabbing a little bit at a time. And it does come out quite easily. This ear is actually quite dirty. There's a lot of wax stuck to it. That's why it's dark brown in color, the hair. And his ear is a little bit pink. But uh, that should go down. And return back to the normal color once I get all this hair out. Then the wax set doesn't have anything to stick to. He might shake his ears for a day or so. But after that, he'll be good. See, it's quite dirty. Hey. No, no, it's okay. I know. He looks at me like, save me. Okay. Uh -uh. Just a few more. Oh. That's okay. So after the bath, I do add a solution as well to uh, make sure it dries out everything and that'll help clean out that ear as well. There, so that ear is good. Hey, okay, we're gonna do the other ear now. I'm looking so grown up now. Hi. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna lower the table a little bit, just so I can kind of hug them towards me. And puppies do take a little bit longer to do, because usually there's a little bit more resistance with them. So again, I'm just holding here and just at the back of the head here, but he still has full range of motion. Well, he has motion, I guess not full range. But it gives me control to hold him if I need to. So I do want him to stay still for me. And there's lots of hair in here as well. It's okay, I know I was quite wrong. So there's the first bunch. You can see quite a bit. And there's actually still quite a bit left in here. Okay, I know. There's another one. It's okay. Hey, no, no. No, no. Hey, you're just about done. I know this one was pretty cool. It's okay. Okay, there we go. We're all done with the ears. Good boy. Now you get to have a bath. Okay, so we're just going to see if I need to trim anything. See if I see any flyaways. Okay. Okay, buddy. Let's go to the tub. So we're gonna give him a bath now.
our bed. Okay. I'm guessing he doesn't want to shake out. You want to shake? No? You just want to cuddle? Okay. Okay, so we'll get him out of there. Oh, my bad. Get him back to the table for his final blow dry and growing. Okay, so I'm just going to put his uh, hair protection on and then uh, we'll get blow drying him. Okay. Hopefully this one will stay on. And a smaller one, but we'll see how this one does. So now we're going to be able to see all those flyaways that are left. And I'm actually going to use a three quarters, three and three quarters, I mean, to finish them. So I'm going to try to keep them a little bit longer because that's what the owner would like. But I wanted to get underneath all those mats. And that's why I used the, the shorter one at the beginning. And he'll probably resist a little bit, but not as much. Just because he knows what I'm doing and I'm not going to hurt him. So it's not as traumatic. Okay. I'm just going to use a combination of the clippers and scissors to kind of blend everything together here. Come on. I'm going to lift them up. I know. Okay, where is he here? No, hey. Hey, no. No, no. Stay. Stay, stay, hey. Okay. Okay. Instead of the clippers, I'll just use the scissors. 
<laughs> Come on. Okay. There you go. Good boy. And now he likes to. He got his finger. But that's what puppies are. He's getting a little tired. <laughs> Are you getting tired? He's starting to fall asleep. And you'll have a good nap there, buddy. Hey, okay, you getting tired? All right, so that's pretty much on the body what I want to do. I don't want to trim it any shorter. That way it just leaves a little bit of length. It does lay down quite a bit. Um, I am going to try to blow dry his face a little bit here. We'll see how he does. The body is actually pretty good. I know you're getting tired. So I'm going to use um, without the um, his ear protection on. And we'll see how he does. And if it's too stressful for him, I'll just kind of stop. I don't want to get him too stressed out but I kind of want to try to get his head blow dried out a little bit so we can see how it did <laughs> This gives us a little bit of poof. You don't need much to get it uh, a little bit air dry there. It's still not perfectly dry, but it gives us an idea of how it's going to turn out. And it allows me to kind of finish it up just a little bit, just because he was a little bit squirmy there at the beginning. And just see how the face rounds out as well. Okay. There, I think he's all done. So there is our full groom on a little Yorkshire Terrier puppy that I did a number five and then finished with a, a three and three quarter inch blade. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed the video, like I said, and you'll uh, check out and subscribe to my channel. That would really help me out. <laughs> you bring your ear up. And uh, you can see lots more videos of me grooming a wide variety of dog breeds. So thanks for taking the time to watch. And I hope you have a great day. We'll see you again.